This is uh, a new discovery. The moon's top layer alone has enough oxygen to sustain 8 billion people for 100,000 years. 8 billion. That's just about our, our population now. This is by John Grant, lecturer in soil science, Southern Cross University on the conversation. Alongside advances in space exploration, we've recently seen much time and money invested into technologies that could uh, allow effective space resource utilization. And at the forefront of these efforts has been a laser sharp focus on finding the best way to produce oxygen on the moon. In October, the Australian Space Agency and NASA designed, assigned a deal to send an Australian made rover to the moon under the Artemis program, which has been delayed from what we learned yesterday, uh, under the Artemis moon program with a goal to collect lunar rocks that could ultimately provide breathable oxygen on the moon. Although the moon does not have an atmosphere, well, it has a, a little bit of an atmosphere, it's very thin and composed mostly of hydrogen, neon and argon, it's not the sort of gaseous mixture that could sustain oxygen dependent mammals such as us humans. And that said, there's actually plenty of oxygen on the moon. It just is not in a gaseous form. It's dead, it's trapped inside a regolith, the layer of rock and fine dust that covers the moon's surface. If we could extract oxygen from regolith, would it be enough to support human life on the moon? The breath of oxygen? Oxy oxygen could be found in many of the minerals on the ground, in the ground around us, and the moon is mostly made of the same rocks you'll find on Earth, although with a slightly greater amount of material that came from meteors. Minerals such as silica, aluminium, and iron and magnesium oxides dominate the moon's landscape. All of these minerals contain oxygen, but not in a form our lungs can access. On the moon, these minerals exist in a few different forms, including hard rock, dust, gravel, and stones covering the surface. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This material has resulted from the impacts of meteorites crashing into lunar surface over countless millennia. Some people call the moon's surface la uh, layer lunar soil, but as a soil scientist, I'm hesitant to use this term. Soil, as we know it, is pretty magical stuff that only occurs on Earth. It has been created by a vast array of organisms working on the soil's parent material, regolith derived from hard rock over millions of years. The result is a mix of minerals which were not present in the original rocks. Earth's soil is imbued with remarkable physical, chemical, and biological characteristics. Meanwhile, the materials on the moon's surface is basically regolith in its original untouched form. One substance goes in, two come out. The moon's regolith is made up of approximately 45% oxygen. So about half of it is oxygen, but that oxygen is tightly bound into the minerals mentioned above. In order to break apart those strong bonds, we need to put in energy. You might be familiar with this if you know about electrolysis. On Earth, this process is commonly used in manufacturing, such as to produce aluminum. An electrical current is passed through a liquid form of aluminum oxide, commonly called alumina, via electrodes, to separate the, the aluminium from the oxygen. In this case, the oxygen is produced as a byproduct. On the moon, the oxygen would be the main product and the aluminium or other metals extracted would be potentially useful byproducts. It's a pretty straightforward process, but there is a catch. It's very energy hungry. To be sustainable, it would need to be supported by solar energy or other energy sources available on the moon. Extracting oxygen from regolith would also require substantial industrial equipment. We'd need to first convert soil metal oxide into liquid form, either by applying heat or heat combined with solvents or electrolytes. We have the technology to do this on Earth, but moving this apparatus to the moon and generating enough energy to run it 
will be a mighty challenge. Earlier this year, Belgium-based startup Space Application Services announced it was building three experimental reactors to improve the process of making oxygen via electrolysis. They expect to send the technology to the moon by 2025 as part of the European Space Agency's in situ resource utilization, ISRU mission. How much oxygen would the moon provide? That said, we do, uh, when we do manage to pull it off, how much oxygen might the moon actually deliver? Well, quite a lot as it turns out. If we ignore oxygen tied up in the moon's deeper hard rock material and just consider regolith which is easily accessible on the surface, we can come up with some estimates. Each cubic meter of lunar regolith contains 1.4 tons of minerals on average, including about 630 kilograms of oxygen. NASA says humans need to breathe about 800 grams of oxygen a day to survive. So 630 kilograms of oxygen would keep a person alive for about two years or just over two years. Now let's assume the average depth of regolith on the moon is about 10 meters and that we can extract, that's about 30 feet, and we can extract all of the oxygen from this. That means that the top 10 meters of the moon's surface would provide enough oxygen to support all 8 billion people on Earth for somewhere around 100,000 years. This would also depend on how effectively we manage to extract and use the oxygen. Regardless, this figure is pretty amazing. Having said that, we do have it pretty good here on Earth, and we should do everything we can to protect the blue planet and its soil in particular, which continues to support all terrestrial life without us even trying. This is on the conversation by John Grant, lecturer of soil science at Southern Cross University. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.